the Indian state of Maharashtra, drought and overuse of land has led to some 60,000 farmers committing suicide. In response, more and more women have taken up farming. They're also using innovative methods, as our team on the ground found out. For yet another summer, Omila has not been able to gather her crop. Her cotton and soya plants require too much water and the dry conditions have made the harvest impossible. Despite the drought, her husband still prefers these crops because they're more profitable. Last year we planted cotton, but the rain didn't come at the right time. We had put all our efforts into these plantations, but everything was wasted. Other people can eat various vegetables, bread and whatnot. I can't provide it to my children because I don't have enough money. For the past 30 years, Nassim has been training women in how to achieve a basic food security in a bid to turn around the region's economic situation. Today, Omila has come to take part in her first organic farming class. In India, only a fifth of women own farmland. To date, nearly 145,000 have attended these workshops. Nassim wants to persuade farmers to plant crops which are more suited to this region's erratic climate. Women are more responsible for the food security of their family, and so they, they are ready to shift towards the uh, monocropping or cash cropping to the food security crop because they want to feed their ch children. Kamal's success story is proof that this model can work. Two years ago, she planted just soya beans. But today, organic vegetables and cereals have taken their place, bringing prosperity to her household. These are peas. While she waits for the rainy season, eight varieties of cereal have ensured that her family has enough food to survive the drought. The excess harvest has been sold at market. We have also saved between 150 and 200 euros a year on seeds and pesticides thanks to organic farming. And as we are also healthier, we are spending less on drugs and doctors. For now, Kamal has a new mission. She's helping women in the neighbouring villages link up with the 40,000 female farmers in the region who've already joined the ranks of this green revolution.